Welcome to Thursday Devotions. I'm sharing with you this week about our prayer shawl ministry, one of our significant missional ministries, and also hope that as we reflect on this ministry, it will give you some uh, food for thought in your faith journey this week. Our reading today is from Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. That I know very well. At the beginning of this year in January, I received the news that one of my nephews had attempted to take his life. As is often the case in situations like these, it was a shock to me and certainly to my sister and her family as well, and very much changed so much about the shape of their year even before COVID burst onto the scene. In the midst of that, several of the leaders of our church's prayer shawl ministry approached me about sending prayer shawls to each of my sister's family. Her husband, my nephew, uh, another nephew, and a niece all living together there in that household. What a special gift that was. It was very meaningful for them in a very difficult time. And it meant a lot to me too, given the distance uh, away and how little I could do in person. Perhaps you've been the beneficiary of a prayer shawl from whether this church or another place I wanted to highlight it today because sometimes I will get the question of what can we do during this time of COVID when it's hard to get out uh, and hard to do some of the things we're used to doing. If you're not familiar with the prayer shawl ministry, uh, many of the today's prayer shawl ministries derive from the work of Janet Bristow and Victoria Gallo, who in 1998 gave birth to this ministry. Uh, as an outgrowth of a program at Hartford Seminary that they had participated in. And over the years, it spread to hundreds and now thousands of different prayer shawl ministries across the country and across the world. They go by different names, but however it is, these people combine together their love of knitting or crocheting with a powerful prayer ministry and other spiritual practices that seeks to reach those who need comfort or solace, as well as those in times of celebration and joy. Each stitch is filled with God's grace. They go by different names, but whatever name they might use in their particular ministry, each shawl is blessed as it's set on its way uh, many of the recipients themselves have become part of these ministries and passed them along to one in need. They're used for a variety of different purposes. Some who are undergoing medical procedures, or who need comfort during times of loss, who really need a focus of prayer, um, and also at times of joy around weddings, uh, new births, uh, rites of passage in a person's life, maybe the first of any number of firsts that we go through, or going through an illness or recovery, uh, anniversaries, gifts, there's just so many different ways that people's lives have been touched. I hope you will consider how you can make a difference in someone's life. It may not always come in the form of prayer shawls of course, but often it is in what seems like the simple that so profound an impact is made. With the prayer shawls, one stitch becomes two, and then three and four, and then many stitches later. Shawls like these beautiful examples you're seeing here today. Our scripture talks about how God has knitted us together in our mother's womb, how wonderfully made we are by God. In the same way God has wonderfully made us, these shawls are wonderfully made. 
and they're made to be blessings in people's lives. In this time of COVID, we've uh, lost some connection with remembering that we have this resource. So if you are in our area uh, and you have a need that you, or a celebration that you would like to honor with a shawl, contact the church office. If you're a little further afield, you can certainly reach out to us, but I would encourage you to go to prayer shawl, or to, sorry, to shawlministry.com, shawlministry.com, and look up uh, prayer shawl ministry in your area. And you can also do a simple internet search as well. You might even consider starting one in your own area or even uh, a similar ministry that can meet needs that you've identified in your community. The prayer shawl ministry at Gray Memorial United Methodist Church has now stretched over 15 years, more than a thousand prayer shawls and countless pocket prayer shawls and other uh, expressions that the ministry has made uh, for graduates and baptisms and other occasions. Uh, we could not do this ministry without the loving care uh, and dedication of those who have been and continue to be part of the prayer shawl ministry. A big thank you to all of you and to all of you anywhere who make these ministries happen. Let us pray. Holy God, we thank you for how you have knit us together into these wonderful creations that you have made. And we thank you for each uh, stitch that goes into these beautiful prayer shawls, just as they symbolize for us the enfolding of the recipient in your love through the care that has gone into their creation. Help us, whether giving a prayer shawl or giving of ourselves in any ministry, to offer to others what you have offered to us, unconditional grace, continual presence and abiding hope, not only for the present, but for the years and future to come. Walk with us, comfort us, steady us, and give us confidence in the hope that comes through your son Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. That's Thursday Devotions. Join us each week for a Thursday devotion. And until next time, know that wherever you go, God's grace is there to surround you, to walk with you, to always be there for you. And it is a presence that will never leave you. Take good care and know that God goes with you. <laughs>